want to get to that very important statement from Carrie Luft on behalf of the friends and family of Jennifer Farber Dulos, of course, who is at the center of this entire case, who has been here this entire time, her friends and family, since day one in support of Jennifer, being there for her, of course, because she cannot be here, as we mentioned several times, many of them showing up wearing the color purple, which of course is the symbol for domestic violence awareness, or rather that color is associated with domestic violence awareness. Now, as Carrie and others were coming out of the courthouse today, they did not want to speak to us. Of course, it is an emotional time for them, very emotional, but they did send out a statement uh, from Carrie Loft, who I mentioned is the spokesperson for the friends and family of Jennifer Farber Dulo. So we think it's very important to read the whole thing for you. Here it is. She says, quote, Today's verdict is a crucial attribution of accountability, not a victory. There can be no victory when five children are growing up without their mother. This verdict represents the meticulous collection, analysis, and presentation of evidence to illuminate an unconscionable series of crimes. That immense body of evidence also serves to highlight the gaps that remain in this case. Most important, that Jennifer Farber Dulos still has not been found. We have lost a mother, daughter, sister, cousin, and cherished friend. Jennifer's loved ones cannot bury her next to her father. We want to thank the jury, she says, for their commitment and careful deliberation during this lengthy, complex trial, and Judge Kevin Randolph for his guidance and authority in the courtroom. She says, we remain deeply indebted to the state's attorney's office, in particular, prosecutors Michelle Manning and Sean McGinnis, Assistant State's Attorney Elizabeth Moran, and Case Inspector David Edwards for their tireless work, expertise, endurance, and dedication in the courtroom and out. She says, we express our unending gratitude and respect to the investigators, analysts, and other law enforcement personnel who have shown an unflagging commitment to Jennifer's case over a span of nearly five years. We owe a special debt of thanks to those individuals, law enforcement and civilian, who testified at this trial and in its hearings. Your courage and integrity inspire us. She says many questions remain as we approach the five-year marker. It is our hope that the resurgence public interest in this case might spur new viable leads. In the meantime, Jennifer's grace, goodness, and light live on through her children and through the honor of her memory. She says we ask that you respect Jennifer's memory and the privacy of her family and loved ones at this time. Now, again, that is the full statement that we did receive after the verdict from Carrie Luft, who has been the spokesperson for the friends and family of Jennifer Farber-Dulos from the very